Greetings, Commanders. The Python Mark II has been out for a couple of weeks. As a result, we had a chance to spend some time with it and form some hands-on opinion regarding how it performs in a variety of settings. And we are, I think, ready to put together a tier list of how we feel it handles in a variety of settings. And what we have here is, obviously, since this is what we talk about in this channel, for the most part, a variety of AX settings, uh, AX combat zones, one-on-one -on -one type of settings, spire sites, and Titan space combat. And then we have a couple of additional categories, including ganking, PVP, and then proper organized or organic PVP among similarly rated combat ships, and PVE, and by PVE we generally mean fighting at resource extraction sites or similar type of activities. So, so how and why do we place, where do we place the Python Mark II? Um, let's start with, with Titan Space. I would place, and again, by the way, the opinions stated here are entirely my own. So if you are disagreeing or have your alternative view, by the way, there's a link to this tier maker list in the video description below feel free to go and make your own and send it over in the comments and discuss as you see fit. Personally, I would put the AX Titan activities in, in the A rating. Uh, if you were to exclusively treat this as like a high-skilled combination of vent and thermal core bomber, then it would be an S class. But there's more to Titan space than that. And generally speaking, if you're there in a group, survivability matters, flexibility of a build matters, resiliency and to a degree also ease of use matters. And in that degree, the Crate Mark II candidly is just easy to use, easy to build, it's easier to uh, survive in Titan space without sort of the requirements and considerations that go uh, into flying a shield of build like the Python Mark II. So personally, I'll put it in A rating uh, or a grade for, for AX Titan activities. When it comes to sort of a sister configuration, which is the one that's used at Spire sites, I think it's roughly at the same level. Like the Spire site Python Mark II would fly with four large shard cannons with the anti-garden anti field mod, which uh, what makes it effectively immune to the anti-garden fields that the Orphrases shoot over there. This is probably, actually not probably, this is definitely a substantial upgrade over the Crate Mark II as far as shooting Orphrases is concerned. And the lack of internals doesn't really matter that much because except for a handful of scouts here and there, nothing is really shooting you back. Um, the S rating for Spires, in my personal view, remains with the MPC Anaconda. Although that is kind of hard to use and only really works in a well-organized way. So for general intensive purposes, maybe this one actually belongs in the S tier for the general population. So let's 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 leave it at S tier. Um, when it comes to one-on-one -on -one combat against Fargo interceptors, uh, or if you think the old school combat that existed and was the mainstay of AX activities before the war came about, the the Python Mark II is pretty much the same as a Fur de Lance for almost all intents and purposes. It has um, very similar heat capacity. It has the same power distributor. It has the same limited uh, internals. It has the same power grid issues. It has um, pretty much the same weapon layout as far as common AX weapons are concerned. You cannot realistically fire more than three medium gauss cannons on a sustained basis with the power distributor or the FDL or the Python Mark II. So sure, you can put more if you want, but um, it kind of just gives you higher alpha value and it makes you spike your heat faster. So so it's very much in the same category as a Ferro Lance. And the Ferro Lance, as most medium shielded builds, isn't a great solo AX fighter. It can work very well, but it is outclassed by the Chieftain, the Challenger, and the Crate, 
uh, which are all better hull tank builds with better internals, like lower power issues and better thermals than, than the FDL and the Python Mark II. As a result, uh, I'm placing this in, in V-Class, if you will. When it comes to antique scene of combat zones where you actually have the ability to repay and rearm, there it's a bit more a toss up, like whether it's a B class or an A class, like you can use an, a hull tank uh, Python Mark II with no repairs in an AXEZ where there's a port or station where you can repair and uh, do away with the problems that comes with having it as a shielded build. So it gains a lot in operating in that type of arrangement. But even then, it's really not as ideal as, for example, the Crate Mark II as a mod shard platform for, for AXEZ type of operations. It does have better maneuverability and general handling than the Crate, so it's got benefits there, but it's got a much less powerful power distributor, which, again, becomes an issue in, in the long run. Um, while having sort of an extra hard point, which for most weapons that you would use in AXZ, you can't realistically power with just a class six power distributor. So I'm on the fence. I don't think this really gets to sort of S tier when it comes to XCZs, but it's very, very viable and something that I would place here in the A tier for, for all intents and purposes. Now, uh, moving beyond AX activities, where would the other uses of the Python Mark II sit? When it comes to PVE and combat at resource extraction sites, I just have a hard time seeing the Python Mark II being a ship of choice over here. Sure, if you love it, you can use it there, but there are just so many better, more reliable options. Like in general, large ships are preferable for PVE and resource extraction sites. Um, among mediums, the larger power distributor of a Crate Mark II again gives it an edge, or even will be part of Mark One, even uh, for most weapons that are power hungry. Like the weapons that would take advantage of the characteristics of a part of Mark II don't really apply that much for the sustained time that you would want to spend in resource extraction sites without having to go rearm or synthesize ammunition. So I am personally putting the part of Mark II in a C grade as far as combat or resource extraction side is concerned. I appreciate this will be controversial and people will feel differently, but that's my personal rating. Now, when it comes to PvP, I am not a PvPer, so my opinion counts very little as far as what the ship is good for or not in PvP. Um, I would, again, consider it to be very similar to a further lance, which is the pinnacle, if you want, of... Um, of AX combat, uh, sorry, of the PVP. Now, whether it's an A class or S class, people who are better informed than me will uh, will have a better point of view. I'm gonna place it in A class merely due to the fact that it has a slightly lower turn rate, uh, pitch rate than than the FDL. It has a better yaw and roll rate, but it has a slightly lower two degrees per second worse pitch rate at minimum mass than the FDL. But I mean, if the FDL is S tier, then this one should probably also be S tier because it doesn't really change all that much. It's practically the same ship. What is definitely S tier though, without a question, is this, give this ship's ganking potential. The ship allows you to mount four um, pacifier frag cannons in addition to two medium weapons of your choosing, which could be Groms, it could be um, reverb torpedoes, it could be pretty much anything uh, with um, the drag effect on one of the pacifiers. Uh, this ship's become incredibly difficult to escape. If you see a properly kitted Python Mark II interdict you in one of the more common ganking places like Shindes and uh, and this yet, you're gonna have a really hell of a hard time getting away as the ship is very, very fast and packs a punch and has all kind of experimentals to hit you with that you could possibly imagine. Um, so as far as ganking is concerned, I think this will replace 
the Frag Mamba almost entirely obsoleting it and also supersede many of the builds that are commonly used for ganking purposes. Um, so that's my view. Would love to hear from you as well what you think of this tiering. And actually, no, one last tweak now that I'm looking at it again. I did put Spire sides higher than, than the Titan, and I think that kind of feels unfair. So I'm going to move Spires down to the A rate, which is the same as the Titan space, where it's very good, but it's not the very best. And it works fine, but there are better ceiling options overall. Staring at this, yeah, I think this is this is something that I am probably happy with. So this is my view. Again, my opinions are my own. Feel free to disagree. Feel free to rail against them if you have strong feelings about why you think I'm wrong. And I'll put the link in for the tier maker in the video description. So if you want to create your own tier and send it my way and discuss why you think the Pine Mark II should be in a different category for one of these activities, we'd love to hear from you. With that, go leave mankind, command mechan, over and out.